guys, what's up and welcome back. If you guys are new, welcome. My name's Kendall. Today I'm going to be talking about the Yeezy 500 and Flame. And these actually just came in yesterday, so I'm still kind of not sure how I feel about them. So yeah, I'm excited to kind of show them and give my thoughts about them. And then I will be doing an on foot at the end. So if you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so here they are. It's in the 500 box, the usual box it always comes in. And like I said, they just came in yesterday. Okay, so here they are. And they are very unique to say the least. It's a little bit strange just because the 500s usually always come out in the solid colorways, like the solid one color, which I personally love because they just match really nicely. So this is definitely unique because there's so many colors going on right now and it's very unique colors. The main part I would say is this brown part. It kind of looks like a chocolate brown like it isn't very dark it almost has hints of red like looking at it right now but it's definitely brown and it kind of has that mesh material so you can see like the little holes in it and then after the brown it kind of has this navy suede material which is pretty thin it's not like a lot of it but as you go towards like the center of the shoe the navy parts kind of turn into like a leather that's how it feels to me i believe it's leather and yeah it's really soft though and also the laces are navy as well so it kind of ties in those like little hints of navy and at the front like at the laces along with the navy this part is kind of like a bluish gray and then also the big part of the shoe like the color is the tan in the toe box and it's really soft to touch and it has like a little bit of the material sticking up and the tan color goes into the side over here but it changes material this is like a rubber feel and on the back it has the same material as the toe box and the color and then yeah so it's just a lot going on with this shoe and just like color wise and also material wise there's a lot of different materials and probably like the thing that sticks out the most is the midsole because it's that orange color it just like pops automatically and it has like that chunky base as all of the 500s do so it's pretty basic there like the model itself is the same obviously but yeah just a whole bunch going on whereas usually the 500 is pretty like subtle and more classic and then this is how it looks on the bottom this very orange and then on the inside it's a little bit different color than the brown on the side this one's more of a chocolate brown whereas before i said it kind of is like chocolate brown with like hints of red but this one is just solely like that brown color which i like actually it's really nice but yeah like i said there's a ton of colors going on so i'm not really sure how i feel about them honestly i do like them but i wouldn't say they are my favorite 500 model like personally i love just the basic solid one color I just feel like that goes with everything so it's really nice because these are going to be hard to match but I feel like these are really unique where you could pull it off but you just have to find the right outfit to match. And even though these aren't the boost material, they are super comfortable. It's like that a preen. I'm not saying that right but a preen. that's what the material is. And that's what I love about Yeezys because they're always so comfortable. Like I wasn't sure how I'd feel about the 500s when I first got them but I really like them so much so yeah I'm actually really happy I got these and I did get them from the confirmed app for $200 as I keep looking at them more they are growing on me more and more but I feel like this is a great option just because the resale price isn't going for like crazy amounts compared to the other 500 models and it's for obvious reasons because those dropped so long ago and they haven't really restocked them but I did just check StockX before and they are going for around like $300, well my size anyway, which is $100 more than the retail price. So it's really not terrible, but I am surprised they are going for that much. I wasn't sure like with this colorway if they would really go for that much more. But if you want like a more affordable 500, this is going to be it because the other ones are going for around like 500 to 600. So 
yeah those are pretty pricey okay so for sizing i did pick these up in a size six and a half men's and that is my true to size so i am a woman's eight and my true to size would be a six and a half men's so for the 500s they do run like a little bit big just because they are like a wider base shoe so for me i get the six and a half and i really like that and just for comparison for the 350 v2s i always get a size 7 which is a half size up for my true to size and for the 500s i always get true to size and i personally like the fit a lot better just because like i said it's a wider base and sometimes my toes are like almost at the top but for me i don't mind that and it just depends like if you want the shoe to be a little bit bigger you can always go with the half size up and put like an extra insole in if it's too big but i feel like you should be fine either way but for true to size i would just recommend based on my personal preference okay so before i get to the on foot let me know if you guys want to see a how to style video on these because i feel like these are going to be pretty hard to match so yeah let me know if you guys want to see that video and just throughout the video like holding these and looking at them they are growing on me more and yeah at first i really didn't like the colorway i mean i still would prefer a different one but i really like the tan and the chocolate brown tones in this shoe i kind of wish maybe the midsole and the navy piece were a different color but i mean it is a very unique shoe so if you want that like pop out shoe then this is going to be perfect for that but yeah let me know what you guys are thinking about this shoe and if you like it and if you guys want to pick it up so let's get right into the on foot Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below what you're thinking of the shoe and if you guys pick them up. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.